are the core principles of investing. Saving is necessary. Diversification is wise and sensible. Indexing makes great sense. Uh, and steady persistence over the long term makes great sense. So it's really not that complicated. It just feels no. complicated. But saving is really important. And the great thing about saving is to look at it as a way of winning by accumulating assets that you can then invest and they work for you 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And it's a marvelous reality that's compounding that comes with investing is terrific. The second thing is diversify and diversify as much as you can. And the easy way to do that is an index fund across a very large range of stocks like the S&P 500 is a popular version. The total market takes you even wider diversification. But diversification is really, really helpful, partly because we don't know what's going to be exciting and positive, and partly we don't know what's going to be disappointing and negative. And the best protection against missing the first and getting too much of the second is diversification. Um, third thing is minimizing fees is a very good idea because once you've paid the fees they're gone forever and if you think about how you could accumulate the not paid fees that does compound in a very very nice way and then as you know from our past discussions it's my deep belief that the best bargain going for anybody who's investing which i use all the time is indexing because it's low cost it's broad diversification and you can get very good value over the long period of time. And that takes you to the final one, which is compounding is the great secret in investment success. If you take Warren Buffett, who's my favorite investor, I just, I admire the man greatly and I've enjoyed a friendship with him. And I think the world of what he's accomplished. Uh, but if you had Warren Buffett with all the same talent, but he started after he finished business school as an investor. And he stopped at when he retired at 65. Warren would only have a little over $2 billion. And as all of us know, he has a great deal more than $2 billion. And that's because he had plenty of time working for him and compounding. And that compounding is an incredible power. And most of the impact of compounding takes place in the last 10% of whatever period of time you're looking at. So start early, stay in as long as you possibly can and let compounding work for you. One of my favorite quotes is Albert Einstein when he says compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. I also think one of the things that you and I know through and through as professional investors, but I'm not sure if, if new investors know, is the 710 rule, which is that um, if something grows at 7% a year, it doubles every 10 years. And I think that's really important for people to think when they are putting everything they've given them to work and thinking about how to allocate their portfolio. If you can just get a 7% return on your portfolio, in 10 years it'll double. 10 years after that, it'll, it'll double again. Compounding really is amazing. It's the double again, double again, double again, double again that it's really stunning. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.